Yo yo guys, magandang magandang Friday afternoon Sky Medic here Welcome welcome to the stream Sana matuloy yung flight natin at hindi magka problema Either sa stream, sa data or whatsoever Welcome welcome po and as promised and as scheduled We will be flying from New Shitosi Airport Going to Osaka Kansai Airport uh, A continuation of our Japan tour So this is our second leg Yung first leg po natin was the uh, Narita going to New Stosi Airport last week and this uh, and today we will be going to Osaka Kansai Airport from New Shitose tapos yung third leg natin will be from Kansai maybe tomorrow Kansai going to Poaka before that will be our last leg for the Japan tour before we proceed to South Korea this is the Airbus A321 of Tolis on X-Plane 12 and we're currently streaming on Facebook and YouTube only medyo hindi mayroon na inaayos pa tayo sa Twitch channel at sa TikTok natin so, so hopefully on our next stream makakapag-stream na din po tayo sa TikTok Hello Doc, shared cockpit with Akira today, pilot monitoring me. Nice, nice. Sasama si Julian then Chef, good afternoon din sa iyo kuya. Welcome, welcome aboard. Ayan, so we started our stream na around 2 o'clock and we will be reviewing our flight for this afternoon. Ayan. So let me see, there are no ATCs available here in uh, Japan. We are currently here at the new Shitosi Airport. Yours truly is all Nippon 1081 and uh, kasama po natin is uh, not so sure yung JJP, anong flight number, anong ICAO po dyan. Pero I presume it's a Japanese airline siguro. Alright. Basahin natin yung ating profile. This is all Nippon 1081 and we will be departing the new Shitosi Airport RJCC and we will be arriving at Osaka Kansai Airport at RJCC alternative airport natin is Narita Airport in Tokyo this is the Airbus A321 and expected departure time natin is 0605 actually kanina pa to na file block time natin is 2 hours and 16 minutes air time natin is approximately 1 hour and 48 minutes and we will be uh, cruising an altitude of 34,000 feet that will be an even route since westbound po tayo and we will be covering around 780 nautical miles cost, uh, cost. cruise profile po natin is 47 and we will have 172 passengers on board and estimated zero fuel weight natin is 67.1 tons yung route natin will be Rizzo 2 departure for runway 19 right so we will depart from the north Dalby, Yankee 120, Tapi, Yankee 12, Arika, Yankee 14, Goldo, Yankee 36, Alisa, then we'll be expecting possible runway 06 left arrival in uh, Osaka, Kansai Airport. Please comment if ever mali yung gagamitin natin na runway for arrival in Osaka, Kansai since it's been a last time, uh, it's been a long time pa lang na nakapag-fly tayo to Osaka, Kansai. Yung ginagamitin natin na sceneries for the New Shitosi Airport and Osaka Kansai are free sceneries uh, Easily available or readily available sa x forums Para wala tayong problema sa pagda-download dito since hindi naman tayo magtatagal dito sa Japan Ayan So ito yung magiging route natin for this afternoon Almost 2 hours na flight Parang uh, let me see Parang Manila Dabo na flight then Or General Santos or Sambanga Manila flight Ayan So if ever wala tayong problema Mamaya with Susap Directs Okay So nakapag-load na din tayo sa ating flight Let's direct na to our departure briefing We are currently parked somewhere here at Juliet 5 or Juliet 4 And yung departure runway natin is nasa likod na natin That's one niner right That is the western Runway, kasi parallel runways dito Last time we are uh, We landed at runway 19 or left This time we will be departing 19 or right Departure runway natin Nasa length of 3 kilometers And hindi pa natin na check Kung ano yung magiging uh, Perf natin mamaya Okay For our departure we'll be using Jefferson chart Tenda Street Juliet Published 15th of September 2023 uh, rest to departure uh, Okay, this is my first time Transition altitude is 14,000 feet Airport elevation 70 feet Sam Hernandez, thanks for liking our stream Welcome, welcome po Alright 
Sig. And if we did send that idea, climb on heading 182 and at or about 500 feet direct to Charlie Charlie 06 Tango, then resort then to Teco at or above 11,000 feet. Transition that is from Teco to Funka, then to Dalby. Okay, so parang straight out departure of Bayo, then at the thing ng 500 feet. That's gonna direct to Charlie Charlie 06 Tango, then to Resort, then to Teco at or above 11,000 feet, then not to scale diretso tayo ng Funka, then to Dalby. Pero kapag wala tayong mga traffic mamaya, let's, maybe let's direct to another waypoint para mas mapabilis yung flight natin. Okay, that concludes our departure briefing. Nakapag-setup na din tayo ng aeroplano para mas mapabilis yung departure natin. Let's now go inside our cockpit. We're currently live again on Facebook and YouTube only guys. Wala po tayo munang Twitch. May inaayos po tayo. And hopefully soon nakapag-live po tayo sa TikTok. Okay, so this is the cockpit of the Airbus A321 of Dolis. Let me see, naayos na natin dito Mode Charlie na po tayo Wala tayong current uh, available ATCs dito We're currently online on VATSIM as all Nippon 1081 Nakapag radio check na din tayo sa sarili natin kanina And uh, yeah, let me see Nasaan yung kasama ko dito? I think meron akong in-expect na kasama Ayun, all Nippon 378 Alright, sino to si all Nippon 378? Uh, that's Julian Yung JJP, air pitch yata yung JJP Not so sure, nasan siya? Ayun So pwede na tayo mag-set ng pushback pala natin Route cockpit, please show me where you want okay, to go Okay, so we will just push facing north since uh, malapit ng runway natin Ground cockpit, tow is driving up Okay, let's now review our flight muna So loading performance po natin 172 passengers total cargo natin is around 2.1 tons that's 100 1.1 tons on the forward cargo and 1 ton on the aft cargo total zero fuel weight natin is 67.1 tons center gravity is 26.7 Molly Husky thanks for liking our stream welcome aboard Okay block fuel natin will be 12.8 tons alternative airport kasi natin is narit uh, yeah, Narita Tokyo Airport If ever we cannot land in Osaka Kansai Airport Okay Proceed here It'll be placed already uh, Osaka Kansai Osaka Kansai is RJA Okay, all doors and hatches are closed Ready to connect Okay, RJA in nandito na din So all the flows and procedures might not follow those on real world time. Most of the time, hindi tayo na follow ng real world, uh, real world operations pala not real world time. We are using real world time and weather. Yes, Doc Observer, si Akira since ako radio nice. Ayun, nag-live na uli. <laughs> Sana hindi ma-interrupt. Okay, so this is our flight plan. Ipasok na din natin dito. We are ready. Medyo mahaba-haba kaya in advance natin. Then for our perf, pwede, pwede tayo dito sa takeoff performance ng TOLIS. Pwede natin i-compare. Like for example, B2, compare natin dito sa takeoff performance natin. So connected and bypass pin inserted. Release parking brake. Okay, let's now check the real world weather information in Shitose. Okay, so 1 nine or 0 degrees, 1 zero knots will be expecting 10 knots of headwind upon departure. Good visibility po tayo. Ceiling is reported at flight level 130 and QNH is 01020. We're expecting some, we're experiencing some drizzles dito sa Osaka and sa ano, Inu Shitose Airport. So 1 nine or right, uh, winds natin dito, it's 1 nine or 0 and uh, 1 zero knots. Ground temperature, it's 1.6 Medyo mainit in it as compared na previous landing natin As the takeoff weight uh, Estimated takeoff weight po natin is 76.7 And center of gravity natin kanina It's uh, 26.7 Tama then compute natin for flaps 2, standard departure. So 143, 143, 146. Compare natin. Flaps 2, 143. Okay. Medyo malapit na pwede din. It's 144, 144, 147. Kasi naka-base na to sa real world. 
sa hangin Okay, 1D1 natin It's 143 143 And 146 Laps to departure Up 0.4% And flex temperature It's 5.1 Hopefully magkakaroon tayo ng ETC Once or before tayo mag Depart Hmm Okay Backs are on for this departure Okay, backs off na lang tayo May, Malamig naman sa Japan eh. Okay, with this configuration uh, Stop margin natin for V1 is 1.9 Or almost 2 kilometers And stop margin natin for V1 max is 765 Uy! Thanks for the 50 stars, Akira Were you the control last Sunday? I flew Manila, Narita, Cebu 5056 The voice was familiar Last Sunday, last Sunday I was in Manila last Sunday But I not, I'm not sure if I was the one Who provided ATC services Good up, Doc About to buy my first ever rudder pedals Sana mabilis ako masanay from the joystick Twist. Nice, it's very nice. Ako nga eh. Yan. The voice was familiar daw. Parang the voice sounds familiar. <laughs> okay. Sige, greenage natin. Okay, let's climb. Okay, wala tayong controller dito. Pero nakamonitor tayo just in case somebody goes online. Is ATC here. Okay, let's now turn on our... Uh, signs here Logo Sorry uh, Beacon lights on Trope lights on auto And APU start Okay So one aircraft on my right side Is all Nippon 738 That is Julian And on the left side Is Aljun uh, I assume it's Air Beach 154 Not so sure by the way guys, if you have comments on our stream, like for example, I have, I am doing something wrong on our, on our, in my flight, so I'm departing on the wrong runway, just feel free to comment it, we will be uh, taking consideration, baka mali nga talaga yung pinagagawa natin. Unique voice mo dok, nakakalma when flying, nakakalma, parang ilong, <laughs> parang ilonggo, ilonggo talaga. <laughs> okay, so pushback tractor is now ready. Okay, let's now lock the doors Remove na natin yung Okay, make it sure muna naka-brakes tayo Okay, let's now remove our external power And we're ready to go EPU is now ready And let's do the before take off Or before start checklist So, cover preps completed Gear pins and covers removed Signs on auto adders So, now fuel quantity 12 Point, uh, 8 tons check Take off data set to Let's dial 5320 via the SID Bar friends 1020 Down to the line Windows and doors are closed Beacon lights on Trust levels on either And parking brakes as required After start checklist Or before the start checklist Is now complete Okay, I think we're ready to go You just to say Traffic uh, Only phone 738 uh, push back uh, gate 8 Okay, mag-commence din sila ng push No worries about that Pwede naman tayo mag-delay mag one engine taxi tayo By the way, yung engines natin for this flight Is the CFM engine for the Airbus A320 New Shitosi Airport uh, Only one once rate 1 Airbus A320 Commencing push and start for runway 19 red Shitosi Alright, walang problema Engine mo selected to ignite At bakit hindi to nakabind? Ako, hala, hindi nakabind Okay lang. Magmamanual na lang tayo. Okay, importante dito. Dito yung kumagana. Okay, engine mo selector to ignite. Number process bleed pressure is up. Park brakes release. At hindi nakabind din. No worries. Park and brakes release. Pressure zero. Starting pushback. And you may start engine. Alright. Engine mo selector to ignite again. Number process bleed pressure is up. Starting engine number two. Let's do this. Welcome on board. 
Please pay attention to the following safety instructions. 手荷物は重ねないように座席の上の物入れまたは前の座席の下に収納してください手荷物が滑り出る恐れがあります通路や非常口付近には手荷物を置かないでください。Okay, sorry, Return your seat and table to the original position for takeoff and landing. Belt 着用サイン点灯中並びにお座りの間は揺れに備え、常にシートベルトを緩みのないようお締めください。Please keep your seat belt securely fastened whenever you are seated. Sige dok, ikaw pa pa unahin ko sa takeoff. Ikaw ang leader today. No, Julian. Mo na kayo, mo na kayo. It's okay lang for. It's okay for me. At least, mag-adjust tayo mama. It's a good practice then kasi na may traffic before me. Nag-push din pa si air pitch. Yes, tatlo kaming nagsabay-sabay push. Ang saya nito. I do have the Japanese. Yes, sir. I prepared for this flight. Char! In case of emergency, please follow our instructions. Sanso mask が降りてきた際は、マスクを強く引き寄せ、鼻と口に当てて呼吸します。If oxygen masks drop down, pull a mask towards you. Place it over your nose and mouth and breathe normally. ご自身のマスクなどは外し、酸素マスクを直接つけます。あやおでにやど、ごらたいまがごわ。カプセアキラ。OK。次、Let's now start engine number one. Engine number two のステップ。Put the elastic band over your head and adjust it by pulling the ends. 衝撃に備える姿勢をとります。In an emergency. Right, starting engine number one. 非常口は飛行機の左右両側にあります。お近くの非常口をお確かめください。Emergency exits are located on both sides of the aircraft. Check your nearest exits. Yung co-pilot to tulog na yun eh. Remain seated and wait for instructions. Dahistuji no satsui wa kinshi desu. Since Max is asleep. Photography is prohibited during evacuation. Tenimotsu wa issai motanai de kudasai. Dahistu no sabatage ya slide wo hason suru osore ga arimasu. Leave all baggage behind as it may hinder evacuation. Operation complete. Set parking brake. Parking set, pressure up. Disconnecting tow, stand by. Right engine number one and two now stable, flaps two. Both arms out, sit up straight and slide down. Slide to the engine, please. Assist other passengers after sliding down. Move away from the aircraft immediately. A life vest is under or beside your seat. There you go. Take a complication check. Cabin crew prepare for departure. No lights on standby. Uh, no, no, no. Sorry. No uh, landing lights on standby. Echo is disconnected and bypass pin has been removed. Hand signal will be on the left. We'll see you next time. Have a safe flight. Okay, so we're expecting some weather. If you require assistance or have any questions, please contact the captain. Ako daw mo na eh. So, nasan ba tayo? This is Juliet 5. Hotel 4. Parang mali yata yung label dito eh. Hotel 4. Nasa yung Hotel 4? Parang nasa likod ko yata. Mali yata. She does the traffic only upon 1081, commencing taxi to holding point runway 1 on your right via Alpha 2. Oh, I see you. That's now not that. Ayun, may nona sa atin. Thanks. Alright. Parking brakes release. Shots. Hindi ko pala nahabayin ko. Real. The pressure zero. Okay, let's... Lisa ba? Brakes check. Only pong seven three eight taxi in runway one nine right. Yeah, Juliet three Alpha one. Actually, mali mali yung libas dito sa airport. 
right, flight controls check with eye rudders, pull right, pull left, neutral, elevators pull up, pull down, neutral, ailerons pull left, and pull right, neutral. Remove natin after star check, less anti-ISO check, party comes out to check, with trim up 0.4%, better trim set to zero, hand signals and pins were received on my left side. Tama ba? Ito na yun. Yeah, I think this is the one. Dear friends, thanks for liking the stream. Dear right. Dear right ba? Yes, dear right. E1 kami. Hi, queer friends. Okay, same destination na ata kami, so mag-hold short muna ako. I think this is, yeah, this is Alpha 2. 3 minutes. She does the traffic all in one straight one, holding short runway 1 in the right. Uh, we'll commence uh, line up after 2 minutes for traffic spacing. Uy, sandali lang, tamang tama din. Parang may problema yata. Sandali lang. Sandali lang yung joystick natin. Bakit hindi nagbabayan to? Anak ko. Alright. I think. Alright. I think nabayad na. Okay. We'll be lining up around 2.20... Oops. Stop safe up for the traffic only upon 738 holding short also one. Mali na nga ako eh. Right, line up na lang ko. She goes to traffic only upon 1381 lining up runway uh, 1 on your right. Parking brakes please, pressure zero. Naka ignition naman tayo. Strobe lights on, render fires on. Okay, we'll be commencing roll around 2.30 in the afternoon. Nax, pumalit ang plane si Doc sa karut. Pumalit pa ako ng route? Magagalit si Matthew Manuel T. Nagpa-solding point. O nga eh. Kaya magla-line up na lang ako eh. Lag-pass niya eh. Hindi ko magat yung brakes natin. Clear on the right side. Clear naman. Clear sa right. Alright, good. start uh, okay let's hold short dito we still have one minute to go all right before takeoff checklist i forgot supposed to be dapat papi pa to pumasok na runway flight controls check flight instruments check beeping confirm plan setting configure 2b1 brb2 flex temperature 143 blue 146 magenta flex temperature uh 51 atc set mo charlie Default 200, ikaw may mag-take off na blue down to the line Take off runways, one on your right, confirm Cabin crew advice, seek us to TRA Engine mode selector to ignite muna at medyo muulan And packs will be off for this departure Pwede naman tayo mag-speed control mamaya Bakit lumabas pangalan ko? <laughs> nako, 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 nakatog Magpass daw ako sa Sa holding Point Ng runway 1 and the right D Mat, papagalitan daw ako Right, 3 minutes is up Landing lights on we're ready to go. She does the traffic only upon one straight one rolling runway one and the right. Outside to take off. Okay, I think we're ready to go. 
back in shore, right? Tutustos is a poro traffic, only point seven three eight will line up behind the only point airway aircraft on runway one and right. Papa. Alright. Alright, let's do this. Power fifty percent. Front time on. Engine stable. Manplex 51 SRS on the trust blue check, runway check. Trust set. Other knots. Yes, 
sir, is CFM engines po tayo for the Airbus 8321. Namiss ko yung hagong na sound eh. Okay, we are currently heading about Resort. May Resort tayo. Dito somewhere then deck. We must be at about 1-1000 sa deck. Sabi niya doon sa anay <laughs> Right, 10,000 feet Landing lights off Right, wala naman tayong turbulences Medyo muna ng signal signs So pwede din para makapag-serve ng pagkain Alright Pwede na tayo maging 13 for their charge dito Magandang hapon Manila to lawag ka kanina to Yes sir, kaso nga lang uh, Parang kaka-take off na natin ng runway 13 Nagkaroon tayo ng power disruption dito sa bahay Hindi kinaya yung init ng panahon ngayon Transition altitude dito, it's 14,000 feet kanina according sa charts. So, follow that. Wala yung background music na... Ano yun? The Fat Chat? Ano yun? Sana di mangyari. Oo nga eh, sana di mangyari. Hindi ko nga alam kung bakit ganyan. Ang init eh. Tapos mga after 15 minutes, bumalik din yung kuryente. Pero sana ngayon hindi na. Patuloy natin. Ay naku, ang tagal ng 14,000 dito 14,000 is the transition level eh. Altitude pala So ibig sabihin at 14,000 feet pa tayo Mag-set ng QNH to standard Okay, terrain and the off na pala on my side We could, we could advance the displays further But it may mag-direct tayo ng Dalby Hindi, next na pala yun eh Ano ba next? Ah, okay Punta na din pala tayo dyan So this is the CFM engines natin At maula na departure dito sa Shidose Alright, update ng, flights na, ng flight natin guys This afternoon we are continuing We are already continuing our Japan tour This is the second leg Last week we arrived uh, at na Tokyo Narita Airport from Manila after a three and a half hours flight on the Airbus A350. Then our first leg for the Japan tour was uh, Narita to Shidose flight or sa yung Saboron area na yan. So, medyo hard landing tayo yun. Hindi natin este <laughs> na clear ng maayos and that was a rainy landing also in um, Shidose. And this is the leg 2. Alright, stand by up uh, Passing transition altitude, passing flight level 148. Now, no difference down to the line after takeoff line checklist is now complete. You need to set the standard and then standard check. Alright, and increasing our display further. Alright, and we are still climbing. And maulan pa rin. So, sabi ko nga, this is the second leg na ng our Japan tour. This is the new Shidose bound to Osaka Kansai Airport. This will just uh, take us around approximately less than 2 hours of flight. And to be specific, it's 1 hour and 53 minutes. This is the Airbus A321 of Tolis on X-Plane 12. We are using the CFM engines. Hindi po natin. And we do have the Neo category naman. Or Neo variant, pero hindi pa natin install dito. Uh, I've been using the Neo variant sa x 11 but on x 12, I stick first sa uh, original or sa default flight. Okay, so kasama natin lumilipad ngayon dito sa Japan is uh, Aljun, Jap uh, Air, I think this is Air Pitch 154. Uh, okay, kanina ko pa ito tinatanong, ano yung Air Ang JJ Group? It's an orange liner pala It's not air pitch I stand corrected So orange liner yung JJP 
eastbound for Osaka Kansai Airport, followed by yours truly only for 1081 bound Airbus A321. Tingnan nga natin kung ano yung altitude ni uh, uh, Orange Liner. He will be cruising at an altitude of 34,000 feet, same sa atin. How about only Nippon 738? Still 34,000, so magkakapereho kami. And uh, who's Jack? Okay, somebody depart also uh, is uh, departing Shitose but is bound for RJTT. Okay, RJTT. Uh, it's uh, Tokyo Haneda Airport. So, tatlo lang kami yung flight dito ngayon. Alright. Orange Pudo currently at 15,000 pero versus PS namin it's 3,000. We're gonna slow down a little. We are light right now. Only 109 passengers. For me, I do have... 172 passengers almost puno ka na naman <laughs> ewan ko ba dito kay Simbri po bakit siya nagbibigay ng ganito okay weird at 18,000 feet umuulan pa rin rain clouds sana mag clear na yun no need to slow down it's okay you may climb you just slow down once you are at a cruising altitude so, medyo delikado mag-slow down while you're climbing. Once you reach uh, cruising altitude, you may ask me if what is my current max speed or indicated airspeed, then you may adjust while at cruising level. But on the climb, you may do so as published. Ayun. Sana magkaroon na din ng clearing. Ayun. I see skies are blue. Dark blue nga lang. Alright, we do have some clearing already. Engine will select for to norm na. Nice clouds. Yun nga lang. Yung reason why you want to break from the uh, these thick clouds, yung mga rain clouds na to, then you will have this nice view of the clouds. Real time yan daw. Yes, we're using real time. So yung time, current time in Japan, it's around 3.43 in the afternoon. Tokyo being one hour ahead of Manila. Good afternoon to Reggie Chan. Maglalive ka ba mamaya as Manila Control tingnan natin sir, tingnan natin kasi uh, also give chance sa mga kasama nating controllers na nag, oh, nag gusto mag control so usually nagla live tayo or nag online tayo mga around 8.30 or 9 o'clock most probably na wala na talagang kukuha ng uh, position na yan but nevertheless if ever I'm asking ano yung available like for example meron mag control pwede tayo mag approach anyway that's uh, the fun part since C1 po tayo I could control from from top to down from control down to delivery so wherever is needed mamaya I could tower that go online hangga parang minsan niya parang gusto ko din mag tower gusto ko mag ground kasi medyo nangangalawang na yung pagiging ground controller natin pagiging delivery controller natin most especially if parati tayong online as uh, radar controller siyempre kapag radar controller mabilisan because we are entertaining a lot of pilots for the whole Philippines It's most especially if wala tayong mga kasamang aerotrip controllers so usually when we give clearances mabilis lamang as filed but when you are a delivery controller usually we give the whole route domestic whole route or until the last waypoint within Manila FIR naman if that's an international flight Dok, buksan mo yung bintana ng aeroplano mainit gusto mo bumalik tayo ng shitose <laughs> kung pwede lang bubuksan pero syempre hindi Alright, time check here in the Philippines already 45 minutes past the hour of 2 in the afternoon. Real world time po tayo, but here in Japan it's already 45 minutes past the hour of 3 in the afternoon. So, three of us are now headed to Osaka Kansai Airport. Okay, I forgot 
to place here okay let's see rj uh, gg gg ba tandali uh, rj bb1 binigay sa ating runway kanina oh let's say rj bb na lang okay flight report we are currently 560 nautical miles Away from our top of descent, expected arrival or expected commence of descent natin will be at 0754. That's around 354 Philippine time or 354. Uy, nandito na yung co-pilot ko. Gising na pala. Hi, Max. Okay. Come here, Max. Okay. Gising na pala yung co-pilot ko. Nakadeparta tayo ng Chitose. Ngayon ko lang nagising. Hi, guys. This is my new pet. New, new baby here. Because uh, three weeks ago, my Rottweiler died and my parents want another Rottweiler. So we do have a bug in the Rottweiler here sa bahay. So, yun, pagdating natin ng bahay, uh, we arrive here at Wednesday evening. Then, kahapon, ay... Yan, sinundo ko na to. So, guys, this is Max. Babae po siya. So, it's Maxine. So, kapag si na Sir David yung mayroong si Sputnik, kaya doon nakapangalan yung Sputnik Evasion, dito naman sa Sky Medic, ito na yung manyo, baby ko. Ayan. So, this is my co-pilot right now. This is Max. Hi, Max. Maliit pa siya. As in, 3 kilograms lang siya. Pero, 2 months old. Pero, pag lumaki ito, hindi ko na ito makakandong. At, since uh, Rottweilers are big dogs. So, she's still a baby. Pero, co-pilot na yun. Hindi siya makatulog at ang ko daw dito sa kwarto. Okay. Ayan. Aray, aray. Huwag mong kagatin yung kamay ko. Hi, Anjo. Maganda nga po. Oh, I'm so sorry for your loss. Hello. Hello, Max. Yeah. Yeah. So, this is my baby Rottweiler. Ayan. Papakilala ko na. Ayan. Aray. <laughs> this is border flight. Tata ka siya kasi nagsasalita ako Kaya naka-headphone ako Wala siya na rin mm. Okay, okay, okay Natulog ka na Meet niya Ayan, Dito siya matadulog sa paanan <laughs> Alright, update ng flight natin We're still climbing to our cruising altitude At 34,000 feet We're expected to cover around 780 nautical miles that's from Shitose going to Osaka Kansai Airport. This is the Airbus A321 of Tulis on X Plane 12. And currently we are live on a bad sim. From time to time, dino double check natin kasi we sometimes big lang nagdi disconnect tayo. I don't know. Minsan naglolo ko din kasi si we uh, bad sim. Like kahapon, I. Been disconnected for almost three times or five times while doing an approach controller sa Manila. Ayaw ko na pumunta sa bahay niyo, Doc Rottweiler. Uy, ang bait kaya ng mga Rottweiler. Ang bait kaya ng mga Rottweiler. That's the reason na bumili, ah, uh, uh, umuha pa ako ng isa pang Rottweiler. Ang layo ng kinuhanan ko, kaya nag-post ako doon sa Facebook ko, two hours na drive. It's a 2 hours drive to the town where I got this Kasi parang hindi uso yata yung pag-rebreed ngayon ng Rottweiler eh. uh, And parang nauuso yata ngayon is pug Kaya medyo nahirapan ako maghanap ng Rottweiler Actually before we went to Manila for the island hop and for our convention uh, Na-reserve ko na siya So I just make sure na meron tayong pera pagdating natin dito Dok, baka sabi niya di ako nangangagat, nanununtok <laughs> Kape ito Even my late Red Wilder, si Sasha, yung pangalan niya Kapit din yun Nakakatakot lang tingnan kasi it's a big dog Yung black dog ba na big, big black dog Diba sa yung tipong naglalakad kayo You're walking in the park Then you see people going your uh, away sa yung path mo kasi they, they see a big dog Pero yung nakakakilala kay Sasha Sa tao namin dito Sa tao namin sa, When we go to the plaza Siya yung star eh Mas siya yung pinapansin kay sa may-ari Sad truth <laughs> Sad truth Ayan Oh 
Okay, so we are currently still climbing to our cruising altitude at maula po ngayon yung flight natin. Okay, I'm gonna check on flightradar.com kung ano yung gamit na runway sa Arita, Ar, uh, Osaka, Kansai pala. Uy, Jake! Magandang hapon. Thanks for the 45 stars. Thank you, thank you. Alam niyo yung mga stars na ini -ini, ay yung binibigay niyo guys is um, are iniipon po natin because most probably in two months time on my birthday, I will be giving away a free simulator experience sa Sputnik Aviation. Ayan. So, and di ko pa na decide if I will just give it away or I will do a raffle pero uh, hopefully magkakaroon sila ng parang quote unquote gift check pero yun ang promise ko doon sa yes, Sputnik Aviation that uh, my, yung stars na binibigay nyo sa akin iniipon po natin yan and we will be giving it back to you as a form of my of my thank you sa lahat na nag like ng stream natin lahat na nag subscribe Bo, uh, sa YouTube, sa Twitch at nag-follow sa ating Facebook page so in 2 months time, 2 months time ba? yeah, in 2 months time about 3 months, kung sino nakakaalam ng birthday ko, pero yan gagawin natin yan sa parang kapatid ni German Shepherd yan nung nga eh, depende din kung sino mas malaki, pero mas malaki yung katawan ng Rottweiler, yung, I mean yung build talaga, pero yung German Shepherd kasi alam nyo naman yung parang yung slender yung katawan, parang almost Doberman for laptop to. Ano yung for laptop? Ano yung for laptop? Oye, I... I make... I... Sandali lang. Yung isa kasi dito. Okay. Just to clear up lang guys. At hindi po tayo nang... Parang share this stream. Hindi rin. Kung sino lang yung ka magsasubscribe sa atin. It's okay. So, hindi pa tayo nakapag-decide if paano natin ibibigay yun. Basta, yun ang plano kong gagawin on my birthday on my birth month so we will be giving away one session of the full simulator sa Sputnik Aviation on my birthday on the month of <laughs> so tatanungin ko po na baka may gift check naman sila doon eh hindi pa yata eh okay nakalibutan ko na pala ang gagawin natin we will check Osaka Kansai Airport right now in real world operations. So ano ba yung arrivals ng ginagamit nila? Actually, um, okay, arrivals are from the west. So I think they're using this air runway yung nasa north. Yeah. So yung northern yung north Anong configuration pa to? Osaka Kansai I think they are using 06 left for arrivals and 06 right for departures ayan so set natin mamaya to for 06 left arrival if ever hindi magbago yung hangin we are above my place again I'm originally from Omori but now I'm in Shizuka to study nice no it's nice to see you here Akira and hopefully Next time, if you will be flying here in the Philippines and I'm the ATC, just send me a private message, just acknowledge it, so I could acknowledge you. Uh, sometimes, I tend not to look at the profile of the pilots because uh, sometimes it's so busy, but if I'm so familiar, if you get familiarized with your voice, maski mag iba pa kayo ng call sign, kilalang kilala ko yung boses. There is one certain pilot flying in the Philippines that surely kilalang kilala ko yung boses. It's Glenn Dolor. Kilalang kilala ko talaga yung boses nun. Gumagamit ka rin po pala ng... Uh, yeah, I'm using... Uh, yeah. This is very handy. It's most especially if you are flying without an ATC in BATSIM. Since BATSIM is using real-world weather, and we almost re the same real world operations. We use flight radar to use what run we're gonna use for departure and for arrival. If ever, yun, yun kunyari nagka-conflict kayo with other pilots, they will, like for example in Manila, they will be departing runway 24, but in real world time, it's runway 06, pwede naman yung i, uh, <clears throat> i challenge yun na, yeah, it's real world operations runway 06. So, 
Ang dali lang. Ano nga da? Okay, we're maintaining already flight level 340. Tama ba? Mali. It's flight level 340. Bakit 320? Tama ba? Yeah. Kaya pala, kulang pa yung altitude natin. Lols. Bakit kasi 320 yung pinasap natin dito? Yeah, we're using it just in case. Yun. Pwede nating i-challenge yung kung anong run may gagamitin nila But It's Unicom naman eh Without the help of the ETC So if ever, kunyari magkakaproblema kayo guys With other pilots, they are departing on the wrong airport You could wallop them Not necessary yung wallop kasi Hindi naman, kasi Pag sinabi yung wallop, it's kind of a negative thing pagkarating nyo You wallop is everything Just call, that means you are calling the supervisor Like You have problem with your audio for bad sim. There's problem with other with your connection. You could wallop. Just wallop. Then just inform. That means you are calling the supervisor, and you're asking help. Not necessarily due to traffic, due to you may quarrel kayo with other pilots. No, you could report as a problem on the network. Yeah. Because for because what happened for me, parang noon parang pag sinabi mong wallop it's more negative. Tim wallop mo yan. Wrong run na yan, wallop na yan So parang naging Parang naging uh, na yan? Na-touch na sa wallop eh. So you are 26 miles behind you Is that okay? That's okay, that's okay Actually when you're uh, I'm controlling as uh, in route controller As much as possible I would maintain 2-0 nautical miles Just ready uh, uh, Enough Ayan, medyo inayos natin We're currently streaming on Facebook and YouTube So subscribe, like, and share And follow our uh, uh, Platforms So hopefully kapag maayos na natin Yung mga streaming platforms natin We could also stream on TikTok So medyo 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 meron pa ring complication nung pag the login sa TikTok. So hinahabol natin yung 2 PM natin na departure kanina or start ng stream. All right. So sa viewers natin on YouTube and Facebook, a very very nice Friday afternoon to all of you. This is only Pon 1081, just a fictional flight number uh, of only Pon. And this is the Airbus A321 of Tolis on X-Plane 12 And we are currently climbing to our cruising altitude of 32,000, 34,000 feet rather And we came from the new Sitosi Airport in Sapporo And we are now inbound to Osaka Kansai Airport That is southwest of our Origin Airport Estimated flight time natin is 1 hour and 52 minutes And currently we are already airborne for the past 27 minutes So hindi pa hindi pa tayo nangangalahati sa flight natin to be honest so check po on bad spy preceding traffic natin si orange air si 154 is already 43 nautical miles in front of me and only upon 738 is just around 20 nautical miles just that's just enough anyway we could speed control naman mamay Okay, medyo mabagal yung flight natin because you can see we are experiencing some headwinds dito so hindi natin mamamaximize yung flight natin for the moment. Ganda ng kontrelo. Oh, ano, man? Ayun o, oh, si 738 nandun lang talaga sa likod. Nakikita. <laughs> Just a trivia guys, this is my first ever uh, paid aircraft na nabili on X-Plane While back on uh, 2021 when we started Siyempre nag tayo, dun ko nalaman na parang hindi ako marunong talaga sa Boeing Then really I bought this Airbus A3 That time yung release, kaka-release lang is the Airbus A319 and A321 So pinila natin yung A321 since pwede tayo mag mid haul flight dito Then it's been here with me for the past, let's say, three years na, okay, almost three years na. Hindi pa na 2020 pa lang kasi pandemic nag-start ito. 
So this is my first ever uh, aircraft on X-Plane 11. Yeah, the first ever tall is not. And then we have the F Airbus A319. Then the Airbus A340-600. And the Airbus A320 That's all from Tolles Yung Airbus A350 na Dash 900 natin Is from Flight Factor Yung ating Airbus A300 Together with the Beluga Is from Inibuilds Yan 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 ano ka Hindi ko mabasa yung Yung comment Doc Mac Decimal 729 ah. 729 Ako Naka Mac 78 Medyo mabilis ako sa'yo Pero okay lang Para may habol natin Max. Nakikita din natin eh yung true airspeed nyo. It's uh, 439 ako 427. Actually mabagal nga ako eh. Depende din kasi sa bigat ng eroplano. Wait, I'm only 18 miles behind Tika said 26. I will slow down a little. It's okay. We still had lots of airspace to do some uh, spacing later. Ano? Actually, it's uh, 80 nautical miles nga. 80 nautical miles. Ang bilis mo ha? 401 ground speed ang gaan nga yan. 401 ground speed niya. Ako 427. Lols. Pwede tayong mag shortcut dito. Shortcut talaga. Pwede naman para mas mapapabilis natin. Ganyan din ginagawa natin kasi kapag nagko-control Sometimes some of you will notice it Your flare, your flight For example, if you're flying in Mactan, Cebu Going to Mactan, Cebu from Manila Then your route You're expected to commence your descent Around waypoint Batay But sometimes we give the Batay trip up arrival Since and since wala tayo If that time walang departures in Mactan going north We let you dra direct to Tonyo to cut your trip shorter siguro around 1 or 2 minutes to give spacing to the preceding traffic so pwedeng gawin natin yan like for example if we are at a traffic we could uh, direct to squid squid talaga squid talaga nasan ba yung squid dito? okay yeah we could direct to squid kasi hindi na tayo we will be bypassing waypoint gold or we could direct to Chile na nga eh Chile na lang ganda na mga waypoints dito ah Chile ito so provide spacing siguro ay wait 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 then check mo na ang traffic alright so checking on bad spy nope but direct Chile Traffic advisory only on one straight one direct in waypoint Chile. Chile. Good now. Okay, estimated arrival na natin in uh, Kansai will be around 18 minutes past the hour of 4 in the afternoon Philippine time or that will be around 5.18 in the afternoon Japan time. Legit na shutdown kanina. Kung <laughs> ano, legit, legit na shutdown. Kaya talaga parang narinig ng universe na magsha-shutdown. Nag-shutdown talaga. As in, biglang nagsasalita ako. I was explaining our departure. Then biglang nag-blockwait yung kuryente. Kasi I, didn't, I don't have any UPS right now. But nag-prioritize tayo sa uh, AVR, yung automatic voltage regulator. Bumili talaga tayo ng malakas na automatic uh, voltage regulator yung 3000 uh, yeah it's just I think 3000 VA talaga para ma-handle niya yung requirement ng kung PC kasi pa, sabi daw ng technician it's so yung power source ko is 850 so that's times 3 so approximately 2000 plus so yun dapat less than uh, more than that yung capacity so binili natin yung 3000 so na-prioritize tayo for the audio uh, audio not audio for bats in that Automatic voltage regulator. Kaya di kaya yan. Sige daw kami rin. Na magdirect. Huwag kayo magdirect. Kaya nga nagdirect ako ng chili para magkaroon tayo ng spacing. Okay, update ng flight. Progress page. Report natin. 368 ba? Layo pa eh. O ba? 
we're expecting 1 hour and 55 minutes of flight time. Nasa 34th minute pa lang tayo ng flight natin. So, parang 1 hour and 30 minutes pa. Kala ko knock out lock na wala ng internet. Po, na wala ng internet, nag-reset yung modem sa baba. Na wala din ng power yung net. Kala ko, kala ko pala knock out yun. Pumahasa ako. Kala ko ako yung nawala ng internet. O minsan din sa ngayon, hindi man, di ba? Parang magsa-circle-circle din yun. Sayang nga yan eh. Maka-practice sayang. Sabi kasi ng universe, dapat ituloy ko daw yung Japan tour. Lulz. Ay, ganun po ba? Sorry, Doc. Di ba, 33.96 knock na lang kami. Okay lang. Kasi nasa, sabi ko nga, kanina, don't reduce your speed while climbing. Kasi parang, for me, for me, parang delikado yon. So, once you are cruising altitude, that's a time na magkakokontrol na tayo ng speed nyo for spacing. Ganyan ginagawa ko eh. Kasi, baka bigyan mo ng kaman yung mag... Di, di, di naman alam kasi ng ATC yung bigat ng aeroplano eh. Baka magkakaroon niya magkakustol yan or something like that. So, for me lang ah. That's for my opinion lang. My wild guess. So, yung gagawin natin, for the next one hour and a half, magsasalita lang tayo dito. So, nunote na natin dito yung estimated arrival natin will be 1-9-er. Tama ba? 1-9-er ba? I think hindi. It's 0-6 left sa Shitose. Ano? Sa 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 Osaka, Kansai. So, gagawin ko. Check ko muna. Bakit ito yung nilabas ko, lols? Yan na yung charts natin. Yung available types natin. Kansai Your possible approaches For runway 06 left We have Isla Zulu uh, IRS uh, 06 left Yankee Yankee RMP Merong RMP Pasa na sana ako sa RMP The reason for that Na nag-RMP ako Kasi paminsan-minsan Hindi talaga ako sure Kung ano yung PPD And if you are given The 07 And the 7 And the Yankee May, Baka maya Maya mali pa yung Mailagay ko Sabi ko nga I'm not a river pilot I'm still not so sure Yung pinagkaiba Ng Yankee Sa Zulu Sometimes they say it de depends on the aircraft you're using. Pwede natin explore yan. Yeah. So this is for category 2 Z Yankee. This is category 2 for Zulu. This is cat Yankee runway series is left and down here. Pero pa yung pinakamaganda dito at pinakasimple yata is this one. Ayan, alala ko namang spirit. But if you'll use the RMP, Berry pa rin Berry pa rin yung magiging initial approach fix natin Actually, it's the intermediate fix Kasi yung initial approach fix is jolly Pero tingnan ka natin mamaya What's our separation now? Can you check if that's fine? Separation right now Checking on uh, We are already 20 nautical miles or if they see here Yeah, it's around 20 nautical miles Hindi ako pwedeng bumilis pa dito eh Kasi mabigat tayo 172 passengers Kasi may means Lubos-lubos mo kasi bumigay ng weights Si Simbrit eh So, parang legit naman yung background natin. O, kunyari, I went looking, looking outside. Kamusta yung, yung flight natin. At loads. Pero pa yung nasa mintana, nasa background. Background niya parang nasa ground pa. Alrighty then, 
yung co-pilot ko dito tulog na tulog pinaharap ko yung electric fan sa kanya malis naman usahay naman yung kuryente sa dalila o talaga magulungan yung buntot mo dyan maxi Alright, update ng flight natin guys This is the Airbus A321 of Dolis on X-Plane 12 We're currently live on Fat Sim as all Nippon 1081 We are maintaining our cruising altitude of 34,000 feet Ayun yung talaga ng electric one Umalis na naman yung Alright Okay And we do have the 172 passengers on board and we're currently inbound to Saka Kansai Airport from the New Shitoshi Airport in Sapporo. Estimated air time po natin is 1 hour and 54 minutes and we're currently around 30 to 40 minutes on our flight. We're maintaining cruising altitude of 34,000 feet. Okay, back to the umuusad kong camera natin. Minsan, minsan, like, I need the camera is safe. Camera is safe. But I'm going to go to the camera. is safe. Nilalamig ata si Maxo. Sana all nilalamig, tapos ako yung pinagpapawisan. Parang ayaw niya kasi, ayaw niya siguro ng fan. Pero ako yung pinagpapawisan dito. <laughs> Ayaw niya eh, umalis siya eh. Ayaw niya ng direct si Siyala niya. Pero kagabi naka-aircon. What star will you use? Also, what approach? I didn't use the RMP approach. Speaking of which... Okay. Since wala na tayong ginagawa, we'll be... Well, according to the flight plan, Simbrief gave me... Tama. Um, it's the Alisa Bravo arrival. I'm gonna check on it. Alisa Bravo arrival. Alisa Bravo arrival. So from Alisa tayo. Yeah, it's the Alisa one Bravo arrival. Then the Nalto, then Beagle, then Tuberi, then just the straight along. Yeah, Alisa Bravo arrival. Zero six left. Parang same pala configuration run, yung runway dito sa Kansai, sa Manila. Yung background music natin, yeah. Yung background music natin, just to avoid copyright problem, I'm using this one, uh, Facebook Music. So, lahat ng music dito na uh, provided by Facebook Music is uh, copyright free problem. Copyright. So, walang conflict for any copyright songs. Yan ang iingayan yung co-pilot ko dito. Ayan, so, yan, yan. nag explore na naman to. Okay. 
Kaya pala napakan yung toy. Oh, tanggalin mo yung toy mo. Oh, tignan mo. Tito tito tito. Ayun, magulungan ko mamaya. Binibilisan ko mag-read back kagabi. Sobrang busy nyo daw. <laughs> yes. Actually, ganyan talaga. Ideally, ba, mabilis yung read back. Kasi in real world operations naman, even if you are on ground or in the tower, ang dami kinakusap ng ATC, not only the in-route controller. Kaso nga lang kagabi, yung mga kasama natin sa Manila, log off. Then, yung natira na lang is Mactan Tower. Tapos, ang dami pang departures sa Manila. So, ayun. Medyo nag uh, nagsasalita tayo ng mabilis. Yung importante doon, kapag nag re ba kayo, even though it's mabilis, you know what you are doing. You are reading back. Nangyayari yan eh. Last time, merong pilot na nag back ng tamang clearance. Pero, when, when he departed, Ibang yung route kinamit niya kasi hindi niya pala pinalitan yung flight plan na pinasok niya doon sa MCB. I think that was the flight going to Mactan, Cebu. Kasi dalawa yung valid flight going to Mactan, Cebu is one, the one, uh, yung longer one is going uh, by uh, Masba. That's Masbate. Then the other flight is from Ipatad. I think it's a direct uh, route going to Batay. So, nangyari, binigyan siya ng route. Ay, hindi ko siya, I think hindi siya binigyan ng route, pero near siya sa route na yun kasi yun kinare niya. But, he entered the flight going via Maspa. So, yun ang nangyari. So, nakaroon ng confusion doon kasi sabi ko direct batay, pero yung sabi niya, he is heading to Maspa. Alright, balik muna tayo sa cockpit Checking on our flight We're currently at 34,000 feet We'll now be checking our current fuel flow Okay, and right at muna Okay, where's my handy dandy calculator? Okay, current fuel on board natin It's 9.3 tons 9.3 Kilograms. Let's divide it by two engines. It's 4.6 tons. Then, yung ating uh, fuel flow is 1.4 tons per hour. So, yung fuel natin is still good for three hours and or less than three hours of flight time. So, parang just enough for our flight going to Kansai. Extra fuel for any possible go arounds. Then, if we cannot land in Kansai, we'll be going back to Narita Airport or we'll be going to Narita Airport, pala by a uh, 4 hour alternative hindi na tayo babalik ng Sapporo Diyos ka lang ayun ayun ha? dalawang oras na babalik ka ng Sapporo hindi ko naman inakala na pwede palang gumamit ng A350 sa katiklan <laughs> narinig nyo yun nagulat din ako eh pero wala lang tayo magagawa this is Batsim eh Yung isa sa mga uh, similar uh, instances was two foreigners departed Manila. Then that time I was a ground controller palamang, so S1 controller. Then one of my colleagues, uh, Sir Carl Mansueto, went online as Manila control. Then they departed Manila. Papuntang Siargao. <laughs> 
guess what ko nung eroplano nila papuntang Sharga? Yung dalawang foreigner na yun. Parang hindi ko alam kung talagang sinadya nila yun or parang trip lang talaga. Pero they departed Manila going to Sharga on a Boeing 777. Two aircrafts, Boeing 777 din dalawa. Foreigner, hindi Filipino. Departed. Then, sabi ko kay Sir Carl, Sir Carl, I'm so sorry, I cleared them to Siargao with a 777. Natawa na lang yung Manila Control. <laughs> Tawang tawa ko. We decided to do the ILS Yankee Aero 06F. Nice. Ako ko. Pero depende din. Uh, kamusta ba yung hangin sa Kansai? Well, it's 3 0 8 knots. Kaya, kaya din natin yan. Ilang hours na dok yung flight natin We are already 50 minutes Parang isang oras na lang yung flight Actually nakikita na natin yung top of descent natin Ayan o, just before waypoint Spice Ito na tayo magdi-descent So hindi natin kayang i-optimize yung speed Maybe at uh, Dito lang muna tayo at medyo malayo-layo yung alternative airport natin So this is the Airbus A321 of Tolis, yung engine natin, the CFM, yung paano may bumubukas talaga. You departed Katiklav on A350, that will be a very nice departure. <laughs> that was a very nice departure. Pa, akala ko pa, titingnan natin kaya. Kaya yung kaya naman siguro. Hindi ko alam, Toga takeoff, A350 Katiklan. Pwedeng pwede siguro, 1.6 kilometers na runway. Walang pasero, walang cargo Fuel just enough for a flight going to Manila Even siguro pag turn around pad Parang ewan ko magkasya pa yung A350 doon Actually parang naglanding din yata ng A350 Sabi ko nga good luck on your landing Noon eh, noon, noon, noon. Gising na gising na yung co-pilot ko Let's say hi to them Let's go Ikaw, pinapatulog kita Gising ka ngayon habang pinapatulog kita Say hi to them Hi Max This is my baby Max May ko pala Hindi nila ano yung microphone So Ganito siya kalinga, kalaki ngayon 2 months old Around 3 kilograms Then maybe around 1 year Super laki na to This is a Rottweiler Uy Ramon Noble Maing hapon oy Kamusta? Kamusta na yung pag-eskwila? Yeah, this is my co-pilot right now Yung co-pilot mo parang lapas na lapas ng, 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 ng cockpit Naglalaro <laughs> Hi Maxi So this is Maxine yeah, Maxine is at my 2 month old Rottweiler Rotti Anong airline yung A350? I forgot. Ano nga na yun? I forgot, I forgot talaga. Pasen, pasen. Basta nagulat lang ko. Yung aeroplano niya is A350. The reason for that that I checked the, the aircraft because merong flight na padaan ng Katiklan and, or uh, going to Manila. And I was on the process of uh, figuring ko anong ibibigay ko arrival sa kanila kasi depende din sa aeroplanong gamit. Depende sa speed, depende sa bigat Then, when I check Oh my gosh, it's an A350 depart, depo, Which departed Katiklan Actually, nung nalaman ko Departed na siya So parang natawa na lang ako Okay, fine So doon tayo kasi nagdi-decide Kung ano ibibigay nating star Maxi, you're supposed to be sleeping naglalaro na lang to super busy na maging marino nakakamiss magbat so doy ayan magiging kapitan na din yan si Ramon kapitan ng barko yan kapitan ng aeroplano <laughs> super busy maging marino X ito ah no biting
right. Alam mo yung parang nagiging for that gun as babalik ko. Okay, we're back. Tingnan natin. Baka nag-hang to yung microphone. Okay. Okay, checking updates of our flight. We're already 214 nautical miles. At na-disconnect tayo sa bad sim for no reason at all. Ayan, collect tayo. We're now back online. 230 nautical miles away from our top of the cell. Expected to commence this at around 56 minutes past the hour of 3. Philippine time, malapit-lapit na din. Bakit naman daw ganun? Ayun ang nakakahaba. Ano ba yun? Yung flight? Sorry, lumabas muna tayo ng cockpit ng panandalian. Ayun yung pagiging fur dead. Kaya pala. Umihi si Max. Ano nangyari? Naputol yung stream? Naputol ba? No? Hindi siya naputol. Ano nangyari? Naputol yung stream sa Facebook, sa YouTube. Ano nangyari? Yan, naputol nga eh. Hindi ko alam kung naputol yung stream sa YouTube pero nandito pa rin ako. Uy, bigla nag-end live tapos bigla bumalik yung nga eh. Actually, na-disconnect din tayo sa bad sim eh. Hindi ko nga alam bakit. Uy, Doc, pag na may cardial infarction ikaw, bahala sa akin ha. Nag-stop yung live ni Saglit. May cardial infarction talaga, nag mi Nasi CPR ako sa'yo. Alright. So marami tayong dinadagdag ngayon sa stream natin Yung ginawa natin dito This is yung uh, background uh, change natin This is in preparation for our uh, Tawag ba dito Future streams Sandali na Alright Parang gising na gising talaga yung aso ah, ngayon Anyway, sino ba sa inyo nakapag-book ng flight Sa Cross the Land this coming Sunday So Cross the Land will be happening this Sunday Yung departures natin will be all coming from Australia So Sydney, Melbourne and Darwin And inbound Southeast Asia That's Singapore I think it's Kuta Kinabalu And Manila Yun, Arrivals so take note sa mga gustong lumipad during the time of the event Please take note that we will be prioritizing arrivals in Manila So if you will file a flight going to Manila that will cause disruptions or conflicts among arrivals from Australia or during uh, from the event flights You will not be cleared going to Manila You will or yeah So I suggest if you're gonna fly uh, on Sunday evening, since Merong Cross the Land, avoid buying going to Manila. You could fly outbound of Manila, but avoid going to Manila on Sunday. So first arrivals natin will be expected around 6 o'clock in the evening, and last arrival will be around 11. So that is around 5 hours of event time. So you could still fly uh, sa Philippine airspace, but I would really, we would really suggest that you fly 
um, to other airports like uh, going to Mactan, going to Davao, or that's a hop between those islands, or in Palawan or somewhere else, or in Old Clark, but avoid flying to uh, flying to Manila, since the sabi ko nga during bad sim events, uh, bad sim or event related flights are given priority. Pedya kayo doke, eh. haha, pagamot daw si Tito Eric. <laughs> Pwede nga, eh. bakit si Tito Eric? Nangyari, pinsan-minsan kasi nagkaka-problema nagkaka din to si Batsim at si uh, YouTube eh. Gulat nga ako eh, akala ko nga na-disconnect pero I, when I check, still ongoing ka man pala. Okay, nasaan na ba tayo? Ayan o, oh, ganda ng separation namin ngayon. Okay, so currently we are 30 nautical miles, ang ganda. Okay, update the flight natin guys for those who will be tuning in sa flight sa stream natin, right? Or who just tune in sa flight natin ngayon or will be reviewing our flight at this point of time. This is the Airbus A321 on Tolis, a CFM engine on X-Plane 12 and we are currently maintaining 34,000 feet and we are inbound uh, Osaka Kansai Airport here in Japan. We came from Nyushikoshi Airport in Sapporo. So this is the second leg of our Japan tour here in Sky Medic and our third leg will be Kansai going to Fukuoka so sa mga gustong sumama who wants to join our flight our next leg that will be Kansai Fukuoka then after Fukuoka we'll do an international flight actually it's just a short flight that's an international flight since from Fukuoka Japan going to uh, RTSI or Incheon Airport in South, in South Korea. Then we'll do a uh, South Korea trip na din. Ikot-ikot tayo sa, sa Korean Peninsula. Maybe we could do Incheon, Jeju, then Jeju to Gimpo, then Gimpo to Busan. Parang ganun. Yun mga plano kong flights. Eh. Then we will be going to Japan. Ah, no, no. Going to China then para either Beijing or Shanghai siguro most probably parang magkakaroon tayo na punta ng Beijing siguro then we will have, have we will check flights from Beijing na putol-putol going to Shanghai then from Shanghai we will be crossing towards Taipei kasi merong request ng Taipei uh, flights hindi naman umuusad ko Huminto talaga, literally Hammer is safe Huminto Okay, double checking our flight Malapit-lapit na din tayo 158 nautical miles before the top of descent Time check is ready 3.34 Expected the descent that it will be at 7.57 Zulu time or that's 3.57 around 3 minutes before pa, uh, the hour of 4 and expected arrival natin will be 18 minutes past the hour of 4 in the afternoon Philippine time or that will be around 5.18 in the afternoon at Tokyo time. We are still using real world time and weather and we are we are currently 34,000 Aaron Pas Aaron Pitilio good afternoon sir welcome aboard welcome po sa stream I think this is the first time nakita ko yung pangalan niya dito. Welcome, welcome po. Um, Ini-schedule niyo niyo naman po ba sa FBD ba para prepared kami tulad kanina? Uh, we will be announcing it kasi we we double check with the Batse uh, group and uh, na-verify nila na event flights are given priority over non-event flights. Okay, so kasi di ba merong booking talaga this is the first ever cross the land Asia Pacific so yung mangyayari if ever you will file a flight plan going to Manila between uh, let's say you will be expected arrival in Manila between 5pm to 11pm you will be denied so kung ako sa inyo if you want, want if you want, really want to fly during that time during uh, the cross the land 
you fly other airports other than Manila. You could deport Manila, but expect possible late departures since arrivals are given priority. But you could fly other parts of of the Philippines. Wag lang Manila. Yan. Elos, Dakpan. Eh, Dakpan, Dakpan, bakit Dakpan? Eh, Dakpan. Right, medyo ginutom na tayo. Medyo malapit-lapit na din tayo sa arrival natin. Okay, double-checking our current weather information in Kansai. Okay, medyo nagbago yung hangin sa Kansai, but... I think they are still using runway 06 for arrival. Tama ba? Yeah, it's still runway 06. Wait. Thanks for the 100 stars, Akira. Hope this gives you lucky charms on landings. Hoping, hoping. Okay, actually it's 4 knots. It's wind comfort in the Philippines. So we could still use runway 06 for our arrival. So yeah, it's a runway 06 for arrival. Pinukulit tayo din ng co-pilot ko dito Thanks for the 100 stars, Akira Sino ba ito? Sino si Eidos? Okay, mukhang maganda yung weather natin sa Kansai compared sa Kansisyo Tose kanina. <laughs> Hopefully, maganda yung landing natin. Yes, 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 yes. Saka ka? Saka ka? Dodok, listening to the stream while driving. Saan ka papunta? Naman, Jeg.
together all going to Kawayan. Oy, nasa Cagayan pala si Jack. Okay, check mo natin yung fuel again. So, supposed to be it's every 15 to 30 minutes kasi to. So, 8.28 na lang. Titira divided by 2. And each engine consumes around 1.3 tons of fuel per hour. So, we still, so our fuel natin is still good for 3 hours na lang. Grabe tala, tagal payments ng clients. Yan, ikaw nagkahabol sa kanila ngayon. Alright, update ng flight natin guys We are already 106 nautical miles Before our top of descent This is the Airbus A321 of Tulis On X-Plane 12 And we are currently live on VATSIM And we came from New Shitose Airport In Sapporo, north of Japan Or northern part of Japan And we are now inbound to Osaka Kansai Airport The famous sinking airport of Japan So far, weather information and real-world information from flightradar.com uh, says that it will be runway 06 for arrival. So if you're gonna use runway 06, we'll be expecting around one knot of good tailwind. So okay lang yan. Yeah, I'm checking it right now. Flightradar.com is using runway 06. So we'll be using 06 for our arrival since I think 06 right is reserved for departures. As I have said before, between 100 to 80 nautical miles from our top of descent, we will be deciding already what run we're gonna use. So, Sunway 06 and we will be using the RMP approach runway 06. Left. Okay, so double check natin. Flight plan. Arrival will be runway RNAV 06. Left. And we have the Alsa, Alisa Bravo arrival and... Will that be Flava? Going by a Jolly. Jolly is. Iba eh. Yung Jolly is. From the south. So wala tayong Nobi. Search. Okay, we'll be checking it on our display. So we're currently at Chile. Lisa Tanta. Nalto. Asami. Berry. Yun. So wala problema yung flight na natin. It's tight. So nakapag-set na tayo for the RMP approach or RNAV approach runway 06 left. Hindi naman magano malakas ang hangin ngayon. Actually, it's wind cup. baby max ko dito ay nangungulong sinking airport sa doon nga eh. but I think they are already planning for some contingency or some plan for the F for efforts to save the airport if I'm not mistaken yeah and, but it's still sinking Maganda na spacing namin ngayon Parang even tayong tatlo Kung titingnan natin uh, Orange Air is around 36 nautical miles away from me And only Nippon 738 Company traffic is around 30 nautical miles behind So walang problema Maganda na spacing namin ngayon Okay, for our arrival RJ BB 06 left. Okay, 80, 80 nautical miles na lang. We already decided for the RMP approach runway 06 left. So, it's okay na magkaroon tayo na arrival briefing natin. Okay guys, good afternoon again. This is Sky Medic, your captain. And uh, we will be doing the... Arrival briefing. So this is Japan's in charge 20-2 Alpha published 50th of March 2024. Bagong bago. Effectivity is last March 2000. Uh, last 20th of March. Osaka Kansai Airport. 
elevation is just 17 feet, di ba? Medyo mataas nga siya, 17 feet. And uh, transition level is also 14,000 feet, so almost the same, almost the same pala sa transition altitude. This is for arrivals for runway 06 left and right. Alisa Bravo, ang gagamitin natin. So we will be commencing from Alisa. So just in case we need to hold, there is a holding, or there is a published pattern for hold sa Alisa. I think this is an inbound course 142 right hand turn 1 minute leg. Maximum speed of 230 knots if you are below 14,000 feet and maximum 240 knots if you are above 14,000 feet. So it's between... Uh, wala nang bala. So at this minimum nila it's 10,000 feet. Okay. So for Alisa Bravo from Alisa then to Tanta at above 6,000 feet to Naldo to Asamit then to Bagol or Bagle or Bagol whatsoever to Berry at above 4,000 feet. So we have two altitude restrictions dito at waypoint Berry and waypoint Tanta. So Alisa then will track uh, 140 degrees towards Tanta. We must be at above 6,000 feet at waypoint Tanta then to Naldo then to Asami, then to Bagel or Bagle or whatsoever. Then we're just gonna track the 044 degrees towards Barry or Berry rather. We must be at above 4,000 feet. So Barry is our intermediate fix for our ILS approach here in uh, Kansai. Okay, there you go. So for our RP approach, this is uh, Jeppensen chart. Then that's three Juliet of this 15th of September 2023. Airport elevation is 70 feet. Transition altitude 14,000 or flight level 140. New Citos uh, departure is 124.7. I don't know, no, mali, sorry Bakit ito yung binasa ko? This is not Chitose eh. This is, uh, di, hindi pala yun Kansai This is Chito, uh, Kansai uh, Osaka, Japan uh, 22-1 published 15th of March 2024 Effective is 24th of March Kansai International Airport Sorry na preoccupy tayo sa music kanina eh. Final approach course natin is 59 degrees Refer to profile tayo Descent altitude na, Our decision altitude natin will be 300 feet Since hindi tayo uh, uh, precision uh, arrival MDA is still also 300 feet Airport elevation is 17 feet But runway elevation is 9 feet Okay, mas mataas yung airport Yung tarmac kaysa runway Minimum sector altitude is 5,800 feet At the center in yung plastic it's gonna happen. for a misapproach just turn life direct to Bravo 6 li Lima 51 to Lilac and hold at 3000 feet contact Kansai approach misapproach requires a minimum climb range of 5% so hindi ko pa yan naiintindihan transition and alt transition level and altitude is both 14,000 feet parang yan so mag hold tayo at Lilac Inbound course, uh, I think this is an inbound course of, hindi ko alam, 237 or 057, basta, sure ako, this is a right hand turn. Yeah. If walang problema, we'll be going to our aerodrome chart, this is 20-9, uh, published 8 of December 2023, runway 06 left arrival, 4 kilometers yung ating arrival runway. And if able, ginapakate by a Bravo 5. We have multiple rapid exits here. We have Bravo 8, we have Bravo 6, and Bravo 5. We still have Bravo 3, if Bravo 1, if we're gonna use the whole runway. Okay, and just gonna taxi here. I'm not so sure if uh, Terminal 2 or Terminal 1 is being used for Gansai Afra. Uh, Checking on Kansai Terminal in use What terminal is Kansai? ANA in Kansai It's Terminal 1 Terminal 1 Okay, so dito tayo Magkocross pa tayo dito 
into Terminal 1 Okay Not so sure if North Wing or South Wing But Para ma-expedite ang arrival natin Was we use South Wing Okay That concludes our arrival briefing guys 5 person gradient Is a degree climb slope Parang gano. Pero I mean what How do I compute this on The Plane itself <laughs> Okay, preceding traffic orange uh, 154 is I think uh, inbound. Uh, sige lang, gina use na lang yung star. Pwede naman siguro yan, baka dito yan. 5% now. Anyway. Alright, good afternoon again guys. Time check is ready. 52 minutes past the hour of 3 in the afternoon Philippine time. Japan time or Tokyo time is around 4.52 then. We are still live on Batsim and we are streaming on YouTube and Facebook. And this is only for 1081 Airbus A321 of Tolis on x 12. We are currently about to descend towards Osaka Kansai Airport. We came from New Shitose Airport in Sapporo. Uh, we are expected to have an airtime of 1 hour and 52 minutes and uh, we are expected to arrive in Kansai around 4.20 in the afternoon. We do have 172 passengers on board and we are expected to cover around 780 nautical miles of distance uh, for this flight. Ay, may airport sa baba oh. May airport kaya. And we are currently airborne for the past 1 hour and 22 minutes. So, mabilis na lang yung flight natin. In a short while, we'll be commencing our descent around 4 minutes from now. We will be commencing our descent towards uh, Kansai Airport. So, yung gamit natin ngayon is the Airbus A321 of Dolis. And this is the CFM variant. Nahanat ko lang yung Rottweiler ko at baka makagulungan ito. Even daw yung Discord <laughs> Dito na mag So nakalagay ngayon dito sa The information natin sa baba As you can see here Expect arrival is the Alisa Bravo arrival RP approach runway 06 left in Osaka Kansai We will be constantly monitoring Actually, nagbago pa rin yung baka hangin ngayon It's wind calm already As in, if you're going to use runway 06 We'll be expecting 3 knot, only or 3 knots of crosswind And on flightrader.com It's still Runway 06 for the arrival Alright, around 10 nautical months before our top of descent, we could already commence our descent since wala pa rin tayong ATC dito sa Japan. Uh, just be back before descent. Alright, for our viewers on Facebook and YouTube, a very very nice Friday afternoon guys. Try na natin ang kapag stream mamaya ng pag atc natin. Depende yan sa availability ng post. And we also noticed na maraming lumipad lately uh, Just after the Island Hub Philippines event last Saturday So parang almost everyday dami ng lumilipad sa Philippine airspace Maraming maraming salamat talaga the, We will be continuing this kind of events Contra traffic, calling Shiner 154, leaving 11, 3, 4, 0 4, 11, 1, 4, 0 Alisa, Bravo, arrival Zulu 06 left. Yan, Isla Zulu daw siya. Okay, maraming lumilipad dito. Siguro baka, siguro sunod-sunod kasi yung mga holidays. Like, araw na kagitingan, April 9, then April 10 is the Muslim holiday. But, April 11, and even maybe today, let's check. Hindi ko na-check yung traffic sa Manila. 
Yeah, daming lumilipad in fairness. So, it's a good sign na nagiging active talaga yung Manila. I think one of the active airports here in Asia is Philippine Airspace. Uh, yung kasama natin is Hong Kong, Dubai, China, Japan. Ang dami lumilipad daw ka. Okay, we'll be descending na to, let's say, 10,000 feet na muna. Or 14,000 feet transition level. Traffic advisory, all the on one straight one, leaving flight level 340, descending flight level 140, tracking the allies, uh, Bravo arrival, RP approach, runway 06 left, hand side. Okay, before we do the landing performance check na then actually supposed to be it should be placed here na yung weather information sa berth baka makalimutan na din natin okay latest weather information so uh, Kansai QNH 1015 ground temperature it's 16 and winds 330 degrees at 3 knots MDA is 300 sorry it's DA MDA but it's 300 AVM natin, it's 144 That's quite Medyo mabilis business for an Airbus A321 Okay, now check the Expected view uh, Aircraft weight once we arrive So gross weight natin, 74.6 Okay, destination Fuel board is 7.2 Minus 7.5 Five, that would be 0.3 Then we, mi uh, we minus it for 74.6 So 74.3 Estimated landing weight natin. 74 74.3 So the 6 left Winds will be 330 degrees Sorry 330 degrees At 3 knots Ground temperature is still at 16. Kansai Kubo, all Nippon 738 descending 4000 via Arisa, Bravo, ILS 06 left. Okay, so if we're gonna use the brake mode slow, we will have a stop margin of 1.5 kilometers. Okay la yan, pwede tayo mag-low since yung uh, tawag ba dito? Runway natin, it's 4 kilometers. So if we're gonna have a stop margin, or running requirement is 1.5, stop margin is 1.6. So uh, that is kind of approximately, so if this is 2, 1.5, it's somewhere here. We could vacate by a Bravo 8 and Bravo 6, that will be enough for our arrival. Okay, so let's use low brakes for our arrival. Okay. Alright, update ng flight natin guys. We already descend, started our descent towards Osaka Kansai Airport. We just left our cruising altitude of 34,000 feet. We are now tracking the Alisa Bravo arrival for the RMP approach runway 06 left. We double checked uh, our winds and on flightradar.com it's runway 06 yung gamit ngayon. And yung preceding traffic natin is Orange Airline already started his descent towards Kansai. And uh, yours truly also started our descent. Hindi ko alam kung yun pala yung announcement ni Only Pond 738 ba nakakapilot sila na dalawa ni Akira. This is the second leg of our Japan tour. Siyempre, nandito sa Japan of uh, SkyMedic uh, on our SkyMed. But we are using different airlines. But maybe on our third leg, we will be using the SkyMedic livery. So, first leg natin was the Naritaka Nyoshitoshi trip last week uh, but before that we flew international uh, 3.5 hours from Manila going to Narita and our second leg which is the domestic tour here in Japan is the Nyoshitoshi airport going to Osaka Kansai airport again we are tracking the Alisa Bravo arrival for the RP approach runway 06 we are currently initially des descending to flight level 140 that is the transition level also the same time as the transition altitude here in Japan Okay, 
Okay, just a short review ng ating arrival from Alice at going to Tanta. We must be at about uh, 6,000 feet at waypoint Tanta. Then now to Asami to Bagul, Bagul or Bagle. Then to Berry at about 4,000 feet. We will be using the RP approach for runway 06. This is your altitude, not there or MDA, rather it's 300 feet. Okay, after Berry will be Tunuti. Okay, so careful lang tayo. Meron pa lang holding pattern at waypoint Berry. That is an inbound course. Uh, I think the inbound course is 059er. Then right hand turn. Maximum speed 230 knots at 4,000 feet at waypoint Berry. Yeah, if we need to hold. And we will be parking at Terminal 1 based on real world operations here in Kansai. Ganda ng spacing naming tatlo. And there's a traffic uh, orange liner 154 further descent to 5,000 feet inbound north of 4 DI rest Zulu 06 left. na makalala tayo at ginugutom na ako <laughs> so the airport is somewhere here na wala pang label dito ayun orange here so somewhere medyo malayo layo pa What gate kayo, Doc? Um, somewhere, basta any gate available sa Terminal 1. So, can I utilize South Wing siguro? Kasi I think yung, sa, yung scenery na dinownload ko has, tawag ba dito, static aircrafts. So, kung ano yung available mamaya. Guys, update ng flight natin. We are currently at 18,000 feet. Uh, we're gonna descend further to 6,000 feet. Our next altitude restriction at waypoint Tanta. So we are naka control descent po tayo. Just take note if you are descending, if you were not cleared by the ATC to descend unrestricted, you must follow or you must descend as published or as computed by the aircraft. Pero kung nyari, pag sinabi ng ATC na descent to 6,000, for example, unrestricted. So, it it said unrestricted or open descent yung mangyayari. And the aircraft will just disregard all the altitude and the speed restrictions. Basta importante, it will bring you down to that specific altitude as soon as possible. Right, I think there is a parade. Oops. We have to get the cover here. Alam nyo pa iba-iba talaga yung hangin sa kansa. 
Ngayon QNH is 1014. Update na naman natin to. So, beat up natin is 144. Alright, 14,000 feet na. Finish 1014. Set one zero one four set. Okay, let's do have our approach check. This briefing confirm ECAM status check. Seatbelt signs on. Cabin crew prepare for arrival. Minimum set to three hundred. Done. Down to the line. Bar friend set to one zero one four. Check approach checklist now complete. Okay, marapit na tayo guys mag sterile cockpit This is a short update of our flight This is all Nippon 1081 Airbus A321 on X-Plane 12 And we are live on VATSIM And we are currently number 2 for arrival For our mini group flight from Shitose Airport in Sapporo We are currently tracking the uh, Alisa Bravo arrival For the RMP approach runway 06 left So the 3 of us will be arriving runway 06 left But the 2 the preceding traffic and the succeeding traffic will use the ILS and I will be using the RMP. So we do have uh, 172 souls on board. And we are already airborne for the past hour and 37 minutes. And this is the second leg of our Japan tour on SkyMedic Facebook page and uh, YouTube. And our next leg will be from Kansai going to Fukuoka Airport, uh, more south, more southern, southwestern city of uh, Japan. Traffic, Orange Liner 154, Sabri Shire, Sulu 06, Alright, 10,000 feet landing lights on. Seatbelt signs on. Okay, come in first now. Okay, auto brakes on low. Terrain ND will be on my side. Okay, decreasing our navigation display range na. So we do. Okay, let's now further descend to 4,000 restriction at waypoint bed. Alright, so stop that in your music. Let's focus on our arrival. So review ng ating arrival, we will be using a low brakes that will be a margin of 1.571 meters or 1.5 or 1.6 kilometers. Landing requirement natin is 1.2. Uh, runway length natin is 4 kilometers. So most probably we're gonna vacate on the middle part of the runway that be around Bravo 6 or Bravo 5 the most on our arrival. So our aircraft is currently descending via the star so as published. Yan ang ganda ng spacing namin. 3 miles po pag approach, separation, actually 5 miles. Pwedeng 3 miles pero yeah, 3 miles is good. Like here in Kansai you have multiple rapid exits but the most for me the most safest is 5 miles. But anyway, maganda yun naman yung land ay yung approach natin. Actually, pwede nga akong mag-direct parry na yun. Kansai traffic on Nippon 1 straight 1 directing very for the RMP approach runway 06 left. Right, below 10,000 feet, landing lights are on. 
tayo ng konti para magkaroon tayo ng spacing so we bypassed Asami in Bagol Bailo, magandang hapon So, for a very promising yung hangin natin sa Kansai Okay, there's Kansai Sir Marvin, safe flight daw sa akin. Thank you, thank you, Sir Marvin. Okay, commencing by Barry at the level 4,000. Checked. Can't say traffic. Go reach 9154, but later. Bravo 8 siya nag-block 8 So Bravo 8 Hindi ba mas napagay mo ba? Flaps 1, speed check, flaps 1 Flaps 2, speed check, flaps 2 
runway in sight. Gear down. Laps full. Speed check. Laps full. One spoiler's arm. Lights on. Coming through Bill. Seated for arrival. Landing checklist, cabin crew advice, auto trust and speed, auto brakes and low, landing memo, landing no blue, landing checklist complete. 2000. Expecting six knots of crosswind from the north. Okay. Kansai Yu Osaka traffic, all the 17816 miles final runway jurisdiction. Kansai Bokusai traffic. Kansai traffic, all the one one straight one short final runway 06 left. In you.
left-hand side traffic, all in one straight one, Baguita de Acre. Cross lights off, stop lights off. If you start turning our weather systems, big temperature is also off. And if you start. This is Zulu, not so sure what I'm going to do. Okay, this is a Julia 3. Alright, guys, welcome to Kansai. So, we are now taxiing towards Terminal 1. Gira turn. Bawang bawi ba? Yeah, no, Kari, Kira is about to land and then. Right guys, welcome to Osaka Kansai Airport. And maganda sana kapag nauna ako nag-land sa kanila para ma-watch natin yung arrivals nila. Pero nandito tayo sa gitna eh. And medyo malayo lang yung taxi natin ngayon. So, mamaya ako natingnan kung ano yung landing rate natin. Okay, after landing checklist, flash retracted, spoilers, disarm, radar off, detective ventures off, down to the line, below the line. APU start. Check. So, we are currently taxiing, I think this is Juliet 3. Uh, then just gonna turn left on Romeo. Take that and any be available to uh, Terminal 1. Side the man clear on the left. Clear on the left. Clear on the right. Left clear. Dun lang tayo tata bikay orange airline. South wing po tayo here at Romeo. Yep. Osaka 
Okay, okay that's uh, 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 3 7. Bravo. You're right. Okay, lights off. Twenty-eight FPS, Akira. Very, very nice. Congrats, Akira. If you please now on, let's shut down engines number one and two. Right, ganda na ng landing ni Akira. Twenty-eight. So wow, sanay na sanay sa Japan airspace. Okay, so we just landed. Hindi na natin ma-review yung arrivals or hindi natin mapapunod yung arrivals nila. So let's now disconnect on bat sim and gonna review our arrival dito sa Kansai. Alright, let's do the replay. Okay, tamang-tama. Okay. Tingnan natin yung landing rate na. It's 240. Pero walang iba. Walang pinaka. Malayo-layo sa 28 ni Akira. So, bawang gawin. Die center line minus points. All right. Check natin another view, passenger view tayo ngayon, right wing. Yeah, so parang la landing sa tubig. Best landing ever. Nice landing also. So much better than before. Welcome to Kansai. Thank you, Kira. Nice wing decks. Let's now take the passenger view left wing. gear Yun. Okay, 
siyempre hindi yan maririnig Alright, 239 average lights, 240 <laughs> Best landing natin ever since na dumating tayo dito ng Japan since last week Alright So guys, this ends our 2-hour stream Dito sa Japan tour natin here in Japan, siyempre in Japan So this is the second leg, so just a short recap ng flight This is All Nippon 1081, just a fictional flight number, All, all Nippon And we came from Yoshitoshi Airport in Sapporo, that's north, the northern part of Japan And we just arrived here at Osaka Kansai Airport And para Central Japan yata, I forgot what prefecture is this So we do have the 172 passengers on board. Landing rate natin was 100, that's 214 and uh, an acceptable landing. And we cruised at an altitude of 34,000 feet. Total flight time natin is approximately less than 2 hours. And we covered around 780 nautical miles from Sapporo going here at Osaka. So kas kasama natin dito sa flight natin si Aljun as uh, Orange Airliner kanina. And Akira and... Uh, Julian for another company traffic who just landed us uh, behind us. So number two po tayo sa arrival kanina. Alright. So thanks for watching our stream guys and hopefully we'll see each other if makakapag-stream tayo mamayang gabi. And uh, by this time, we'll be signing off. Sky Medic is now signing off. Thanks for watching our stream guys and hopefully we'll see each other on our stream. Okay. Sky Medic is now signing off. Night. Bye guys. Good night. Bye guys. Bye. Just